What's up, boys, girls, cats, and squirrels? I want to talk about, as you can tell by the title, my gaming history and um, most influential clans and things that I've done or been involved in. Uh, you know? You know. And this is now the fourth time I've tried recording this. First time, I just rambled on about the stupidest shit, and the second time, I forgot. And I... So, as the title says, most influential... And immediately, my mind just went to the three biggest clans I've ever been in, and I thought about it. And only two of them were at all influential, and one was literally the most pointless waste of my money, as in changing my name. So I wanted to redo it, and then the fourth time I did my intro, two seconds in, my little brother came in and stared at me like he had fucking Down Syndrome, so... I wanted to restart that. So yeah. Now we're here. And, as the title says, my most influential clans or teams I've been in. We're going to start with the very first team I ever joined, which, by far, was the most influential team I've ever been in, and the best experience I've ever had on gaming-related, I guess. Because, I wouldn't call it a clan. I mean, it was definitely a clan, but it really didn't seem like it. It was more of just, like... A dysfunctional family that was like all really good friends with each other because that's really what we were we were all best friends and some of us if we had beef would just be douchebags and talk about each other behind our backs but it didn't really matter because we were all still friends in the end of everything so and obviously it was my first experience in the community and it wasn't like clip grinding it was just playing it was like a whole nother group of friends from school but on xbox and i never met them and we were just so we were super tight people you know just friends and just it was fun and that was fate and i joined i'm not kidding i remember all the numbers i joined january 17th when they had 37 subscribers and i know don't know the date i left but I know I left when they had about 2.5k. And at like 3k or something like that, they got hacked. But yeah. And then I joined the next influential team I joined, which was not the very next team I joined, but it was it was like a few clans down the road. It was Divine. And Divine was like 12k. And it didn't, I never really put an episode or promoted myself up on the channel, but it put me, it helped me get the mindset of be nice to everyone, make connections that'll help you in the future, and I still do it today, because, I mean, if you're one of those kids just cocky, I'm the best, like, it's not gonna help you, I mean, I've hit bangers and dongers, like, I've, I've hit clips I need to hit to prove my skill, and I don't talk shit on kids that don't and can't hit clips like that. Because it's just not worth it. Yeah, talking shit in this community is not smart. It'll just get you hit offline, hacked, and all this other bad shit that happens way too often in this community. So I don't see why people do that anymore. So in that clan, I just it helped me build connections, build the mindset, and just help me know how to act, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of sad that a clan can do so much, but in a way, it's pretty cool, too. Eating your so, mouth pussy would make me feel better. Alrighty then, thanks for your input, bud. One second, let me just make sure I mute him. And, uh, third most influential team I joined was probably the only team that a lot of people knew me from. It was Wind, I joined at 7.8k. And I could probably look back and find the date on that, but it doesn't matter that much to me. I joined at 7.8k. I got leader at 8.5k. Oh shit, there's a thing there. And, um, that was huge to me. Getting leader position was just amazing. I was so happy with how. Oh no! <laughs> Alright. I was really happy with how my. how everything with YouTube was going. I was just having fun. It was just building on the, onto my experience with YouTube. And, I mean. I continued the mindset of be nice to everyone, build connections when I was leader of Win, because because of that I got my friend who I was a leader for, 
who joined gold sniping showed the leader my clips. I mean, it didn't get me in, obviously, because if I did get in, I'd be gold sni I'd be GS Tactics, but, I mean, it got me exposure, and it showed people who I was. So that was the benefit of being the leader of when does it help get my name out there a little bit more. And just all that. So, and there's a little bit of advice here. It's just anybody, and with, like, joining clans, like, People that join bigger teams and then lose respect for anyone that helped them before them are just douchebags. You don't need to be friends with people like that. They're just not going to help you. They just care about themselves. So, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rambling, gave you a little background history on where I kind of, not came up from, but where I kind of built up whoever the fuck my identity is. But, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling. Um, my mouth is dry because I've done this for like an hour now because I always fuck up. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about my most influential teams I've been in. If you did, please leave a like, comment. If you're new, please subscribe.